Welcome, Fumeheads, to my thoughts on Tom Ford's Anthracite. And first off, let's talk about that name. Anthracite is a word uh, that I wasn't really familiar with, so of course I got on the internet and started looking around. And I take it, uh, they're going after the color of the bottle, because the bottle has this uh, dark gunmetal type look to it, has this shiny look to it as well, which takes its inspiration from Anthracite, which is coal, this luminous... A uh, shiny, dark coal that burns super clean. And that also clicks with me in correlation with this scent as well, which I'll get into later. Uh, but also, let's get back to the name Noir Anthracite. So you're talking about black and gun metal, you know? Okay, these two dark colors, what are you trying to say? <laughs> well, you get into like the marketing campaign, you go on and read what they describe about this scent, about the duality of man and uh, light meeting darkness and mirrors and blonde and all this stuff. And it's like, and it's nothing that really clicked with me. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So, but if you think about the term loosely, noir anthracite, you could almost think of like, Dark Knight, and then this would be the perfect scent for Batman. Yeah! <laughs> and it would kind of suit him very well, because at least this fragrance is dark. So at least it holds up to the name if you're going to have something like Noir Anthracite as your name. At least it didn't come across as like some flowery <laughs> fragrance or some summer freshy. <laughs> it stays true to the name. Which could have been dangerous, because if you look at the notes, tuberose is in here. Thank God I don't get tuberose in this fragrance. No. So really what this fragrance delivers, uh, there are two star players, galbanum and cedar. So instead of calling this scent Noir Anthracite, you could have called it Noir Galbanator. <laughs> but that just doesn't sound cool, does it? And doesn't really fit with the bottle. Love that gunmetal look of the bottle. Super sweet color. So with galbanum, you get like a bitter, green, earthy, dirty soil type of scent. That mixed pretty evenly with the cedar. So you got the woods coming at you. So it's definitely like a foresty, woody type of scent. Like if you spent the, <laughs> spent the day planting cedar trees and that's what you come home smelling like but of course this is a scent and we've got some other things uh, to dress it up with and you know when they're getting into uh, the marketing behind this scent you know they talk about the bergamot being the light of this scent and then uh, that fading into the dark notes and, <laughs> and bergamot in this is really null and void you know, pretty nil. This fragrance stays pretty linear with that with that very earthy, dirty soil, green woody vibe going on through it the entire time. With like spices at the top. There's pepper and ginger, which pepper is the dominant spice in this. And uh, also a bit of sandalwood, adding just a touch of creamy woodiness underneath uh, that bitter earthiness that that galbanum delivers. Now back to the name, Noir Anthracite. When I got to reading on that and how anthracite was coal, that kind of clicked with me with this scent because of the texture of the scent. Uh, it has that sootiness to it like coal would have and, and it does have like a resembling feature to like the scent of coal because of the dirtiness that is behind the scent. So for me, it clicks that way. And this whole scent to me just reads as like a very cool, modern, masculine scent. Uh, personally, I don't get a dated vibe out of this scent at all. So I love that. It just brings back uh, a little bit of old school charm and old school notes, but somehow, however they do it, uh, it makes it modern. And longevity is killer with this scent. <laughs> way past eight hours way past <laughs> but projection is average which is totally doable you know I can pick this up on me throughout the entire day it's one of those scents uh, where you know you wave your arms and you're just getting constant whiffs of it throughout the day so absolutely love that if you like woody dirty green fragrances <laughs> uh, this is something you would totally dig and I'm a huge fan of scents like that so 
Noir Anthracite is definitely uh, a winner for me. Thumbs up. So as always, if you've checked out this scent, make sure to share with me your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what your scent of the day is. But that's it. You guys take care, and we'll see you soon.